So I'm making a couple of new mounts for my GoPro Hero 3 Black Editions. Um, these mounts are being made specifically for a racetrack that I've recently been going to. Uh, it's Riverside Speedway in Groveton, New Hampshire. And what this extendable paint pole is going to be is a fence mount. Um, and how I'm going to do this one is I'm going to put these two copper pipe hangers on the first part of the uh, extension pole and somehow make it so they wrap around a fence post probably gonna use a couple magnets and then these are PVC pipe hangers and they're going to go on the horizontal post at the top of the fence because the fence is so tall I can't reach the top of it so these will give me that one foot handle I need to hook it over the top so the first thing it's going to be taking out one of these screws Bring it around it. I think we're gonna have to add a cushion. I think the pole's a little bit shorter than I thought. Yep. A little too loose. I'm gonna use some 3M VHB double sided tape. It's probably overkill. But I have it right now. I think one piece on each side. The driver of the car that flipped over is back home. Can't remember what his first name is, but his last name is Bigelow. Recovering. He had a uh, three fractured vertebrae and a broken bone in his arm. There. That'll never come off. Not with that tape on there. Now I do the same with this one. Getting this lined up is going to be the tricky part. I hate it when you just can't peel stickers off something. Your stickers are just falling apart. I guess that's why this was only five bucks. Maybe it was six. I got the pipe hangers for, I don't know, just under two dollars. These were a dollar fifty one. Now I guess I have to twist these and make them into a horseshoe. Sounds like fun. I don't want them sticking off the fence too far.
wasn't too bad. So here I have a piece of two inch, actually this is an inch and a half. It must be inside. Yeah, okay. inch and 15 sixteenths outside. It'll work for what I'm doing. So I think all I need to do is come up a couple inches off one side. I think I need pliers to do this. So it only has to be, should be good. See, that's the fence post. It's going like that. So I just went and got some magnets. These are quarter sized, eighth inch thick neodymium. I think it might actually be too big for this. Maybe not. I guess thankfully the bracket's not made out of pure copper. Alright, next step on this mount is going to be the top section. So I have this 3 quarter 16 die. Good size die. I wouldn't say it's huge. I believe this is 3 quarter, but because of the square pitch of the thread, I don't think that's right, but I'm sticking with it. It's called a Acme thread. I don't know anywhere around me to get Acme thread nuts. So what I'm gonna do, what I'm gonna try to do is put three quarter 16 threads on it. And then go to the hardware store. And get a nut. 
Thread the nut on, leaving it just above the plastic, and I'm good. And it's not like this is structural or anything. It's holding a camera that weighs maybe five ounces. So this mount is going to be specifically for turn two. And the other mount is going to be for turn three. Not the prettiest looking threads, but then again they are plastic. I actually had a nut for that die. It's off of a 2000 Sportsman 500 rear CV shaft. A little bit smaller than die. Now, that ain't coming off. And it contacts more magnets on my magnetic mounts. So, I'd say that's good.